Right, hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a Q and A today. I have, I have some um, little notes I have on the side right here. I wrote them down on the little piece of paper so I could remember because I cannot remember all the questions you guys ask me. But as you guys saw, I already did my eyebrows. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a look based off this beanie right here. It's just a plain beanie. Um, I chose this beanie to put the look off this beanie because it's like really colorful and I'm gonna start doing more colorful looks and I'm gonna be using the James Charles palette not just in this video but like a lot in my other future videos I'm gonna be doing because I'm gonna be doing a lot of colorful looks as I said um well I'm gonna go ahead and start off I'm not gonna go too in depth into like the eyeshadow look but you guys I'll like I'll be telling you guys here and there what I'm using and stuff like that um, and for those of you guys who aren't new, hello, my name is Kayla Martinez, I'm 18 years old. Um, welcome to my channel, go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, might as well since you're already here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and set up really quick and then I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in into the questions. The very first question I got asked was what pro what product what products do you use for your eyebrows? The products I use are the same ones I've always been using, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills the brow pomade and recently I got the um the brow definer pencil the one that they have um but I've always been using that product since like well when I first started doing makeup I was using literally because my parents didn't let me wear makeup and stuff like that but I was still filling my eyebrows a little bit because you know I just wanted to fill them in because I never had like the best eyebrows like I over plucked them and like yeah you guys know that you guys know how that goes and um, I would literally use eyeliner, like those little rolling eyeliners that you put on your waterline. And I would use that as my pomade and I would fill in my eyebrows. And um, that's literally what I would use. But then after a while, then when I started getting more into makeup and I started doing my full face and everything, and then I was saved up to buy my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade because... Um, I would search up like eyebrow videos, eyebrow videos, and most people would use the dip brow pomade. So that's what got me into using that product. And um, that's why I use that now. It's like been my holy grail. I always use it. You guys see in my videos, I'm always using that same product. If it's not that, then it's in the regions of Anastasia Beverly Hills products. Um, yeah, other than that, that's what I use for my brows to fill them in. But like I said, recently I started using the brow definer, but today I just used the pomade. And um, as to clean up my brows, I use the Tarte Shea Tape Concealer. That's like my favorite, but like if I'm just going to go somewhere like where I don't need my makeup on all day, I'll just wear the ColourPop, ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer, I think that's what it's called. Let me look at it. Yes, this one right here. I use it in the shade... I think this one's 06, something like that. The one in my chart shape tape, that one is in the shade Light Sand. I forgot to mention to you guys that for my eyebrows to like keep them in place so they don't move, I use the Maybelline um, Brow Precise little fiber thing. It's a little thing. I, you guys, if you guys go to my, um, oops, if you guys go to my eyebrow video, the one I recently did, you guys will see that I mention it in there. That's what I used to set my brows. Okay, so next question is, what was my reaction to brands noticing me? What was my reaction? So, a lot of brands didn't start noticing me until after my YouTube blew up. And that's when I saw that, like, on my email. I saw that they would try to get in contact with me, and they wanted me to promote their stuff. Like, the very first um, brand that I think noticed me, I think, was um, a wig company. Which was which was trendy wigs and I have a video on that when I put the wig on it's the gray one if you guys remember and ever since then like other companies do message me to like promote their stuff and stuff like that but at the same time I only like do the ones that I think are like good you know like you know what I mean like if I have a video idea for something like could like involve that then I'll do it but other than that then I won't really accept them just because like it doesn't go on like the the category i guess of my channel because i want to do a lot of like makeup things so if it's like a makeup company that i see as like pretty good and stuff like that then you know i'll accept and like review their products and stuff like that but most of them are mostly like um wig companies and stuff like that but since at the same time I'm, I'm not really doing a lot of like wig videos you know what i mean like i started this channel to do makeup not to like really like 
I guess that would be more like in the fashion theme, I guess. Fashion, fashion theme. In like the fashion category. But next question is... Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what my reaction was. I was like happy. Like, I was like... First I was like... But, you know? And like, when I had like a really like good reaction was when... um. Uh, me, a member from Colourpop sent me an email and asked me if I wanted to join their little um, affiliate I think that's what it's called something like that program thing and I was like at first I didn't believe that that was fake because you know there's always like those people that are like trying to scam me and stuff like that I was like but after that I was like really like happy and I was excited and um, they have already I think they've sent me already three three boxes and I really like do reviewing their stuff. I really love their products and stuff like that. And yeah, I was like overall just happy, you know, that like companies actually want to work with me. Another question that I got is, well, it's asking, it's more like an asking. It's asking, um, what are some tips on starting a YouTube? I don't know, um, YouTube, YouTube channel, same thing, you know? Um, honestly, if you're going to start a YouTube channel, you really need to think about what you're getting yourself into if you want to make it like a career because it's like really hard to be posting a lot if you're going to school like me i kind of struggle on trying to like make time to do a video because either like homework gets in the way and just like other stuff but if you're gonna start it i think start it because you want to do it not because you're doing it just for the money like, if you're going to be doing it just for the money, then you're not really going to care what kind of content you put out. I feel like you're just going to be putting random content out just so you could get money. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you're going to start it, start it because you like doing it and not just because you like getting money. Um, well, some tips, like, on to how to record and stuff like that because it doesn't say so specifically on, like, what kind of tips. But I'm going to give you guys tips on, like, everything. Um... As to recording, make sure you have like good lighting. I this is the first video that I'm doing because I finally got my ring light and I'm happy I got my ring light already. I've been like wanting one for the longest time because I do know that it improves lighting and I hope you guys noticed that in this video. Um also not just lighting but also your angles. Make sure you have an angle to what you're doing. Like when I do my like specific eyeshadow tutorials i make sure to have the camera really close so you guys can see what i'm doing so like right now it's just like a get ready with me it's not really a tutorial i'm just kind of like having you guys so you guys could like see like my profile and um that's basically it just like having your lighting good camera i use my iphone 7 camera let you guys ask what quality it is and because it's really good it's my 7 plus camera and just like overall an angle that's basically all you need and another tip is to editing editing make sure um you make time for it because if you want it to be a good video you need to make sure that your editing is good and it's just like you know like too long or like too short that's like a good amount of like length okay next question was anything you would tell your younger self honestly i actually really wouldn't because I don't know like I feel like just stuff happens for a reason and like you know my thing is just go with the flow and you know that's pretty much what all I gotta say for that question oops my little paper just fell okay it says a next question is what are your goals for the new year um you know the basics <laughs> like a lot of what like mostly everyone wants to do eat better um start working out more um, what else is there? Make more videos this year, hopefully. More creative ones, at least. Um, what else? Just the simple goals. Save up money. Um. Yeah, just like the basic goals like everyone wants to do, I guess. That would be like my response to that question. Okay, so right now I'm trying to apply this yellow shader here. It's kind of oxidizing a little bit, so I don't know how to feel about that. It's a nice color, but I don't know why it's oxidizing. Maybe because of the concealer. Alright, so next question is, what inspired you to do YouTube? Honestly, um, a lot of people would tell me at school, specifically, to, do, to make a YouTube channel. 
and honestly i like at first i didn't like i don't know i did i just didn't like care for it much you know and like because i was just stuck on my makeup account on instagram and i just didn't really pay much attention to it you know so i was just like uh yeah i will i will but like i kept lagging it for like i don't know how long until i finally decided to make one and yeah that's basically what inspired me well nothing really inspired me it's just a lot of people were telling me to and then i started to think about it and i was like hmm i should i like i'll just try it out and when i tried it out actually like it's like probably one of the things i love to do a lot now like on my free time just make videos and have fun with it all right you guys so my eyeshadow on this side they really did not want to cooperate with me this side came out nice and this side like when i put on the yellow it like flaked off when i blended it out i don't know why it just happened on this side but on this side it didn't but anyways let's just continue with the questions so the next question is what beauty gurus do you watch um i don't watch that many actually i like to watch james charles and jeffrey jeffrey star um i like to watch jacqueline hill she has some nice videos that are like really entertaining um other than that i actually really don't watch a lot of them mm. i usually don't find myself watching like beauty girls a lot on youtube though like i don't know i just don't really watch a lot of them so the next question is what age did you start makeup the age i started wearing makeup well just well i just like well yeah mascara is makeup so i would wear makeup well just mascara actually in middle school i think it was eighth grade i think when i started wearing mascara and then starting sophomore year in high school i started wearing foundation and like a full face you know but other than that oops i had a notification on my phone but other than that what do you call it i i didn't wear much like face makeup until um junior year of high school that's when i started wearing like eyeshadow and stuff like that but this year like i really don't really care i don't have time for that it's like it's too exhausting having to wake up really early in the morning to do my makeup so i just like stick to like the basic foundation eyebrows eyeliner and yeah that's pretty much it so next question is what eyeshadow palette do you recommend for beginners to to glam to do glam with um like i said a lot i think i said this a lot of times actually that the morphe 3502 palette is like perfect for that because you have your neutrals and you have a little bit of those pop of colors um the red shades and honestly it's like such a good palette to start off with because when you start off doing like super glam makeup it's like really easy to blend out neutrals and other colors are a little bit harder to blend out you need like a little bit more like experience to blend them out i guess you could say but like i mean i'm not saying you have to have experience to like go ahead and use colorful looks like colorful looks colorful eyeshadows i'm just saying that like if you start off with neutrals blending out colors are going to be so much easier for you because you already found the technique to blend out those simple colors and it's just going to be easier for you if you start off with a neutral palette and um, everyone has to start from somewhere and honestly i think starting off with neutrals is like the best way to go and then after you get comfortable with that you'll be more comfortable to work with colors someone asked what is your go-to makeup brand honestly i don't have like a specific one but i know one for sure that i always use is the anastasia de Brow pomade that one i use it for sure like whatever i do i always use that product sorry i'm kind of like trying to focus doing this real quick so a question that a lot of people might be wondering is do you make money off youtube i do i barely started getting money off of youtube i'm not gonna go into numbers but yeah what are people's opinion at school a lot of people don't even like say anything you know they just like mind their own business surprisingly um yeah they just say oh that's like a cool and just stuff like that you know um what is the easiest part of your makeup routine the easiest part is probably I don't know I feel like everything like equals out to like an even like 
I don't know. There's not something that's like really easy. Probably just like putting on my powder, I guess. Like setting my face. That'll probably be like the easiest thing. Um. How was it for you at the beginning? of the makeup world i have to say that like at the beginning it was kind of like new to me and i didn't really know a lot about using hashtags and like tagging like the companies that like of the products i was using i would honestly just like do my makeup and just like post pictures of it but um throughout time like i think it was like 2018 is the year when i actually started to grow because then i don't know like i was just doing it like just to post pictures and I like never really thought about tagging the companies but then since companies started to um um what do you call it to notice me like little small brands I noticed that they started to notice me because of like how I would like mention my products and stuff like that so like that's what I started doing on my Instagram too and that's how I started to like grow more because I would use hashtags on what I would use products stuff like that and that's honestly a good way to grow your Instagram I've used a lot of hashtags on the stuff you use and like what kind of makeup looks it is and stuff like that like you'll honestly grow a lot like that like putting yourself out there and since then it's just been really good honestly there's not really no problems or anything but that's just how it's been now like I'm just curious to see how how much I'll grow this year. Right, guys? So that was, like, most of... Look at my hands all dirty. That was, like, most of the questions that you guys asked me, like, um... What do you call it? There is some questions that I do want to, like, tell you guys, even though you guys don't ask me, didn't ask me on my Instagram story, but you guys do ask me a lot on my, um, comments. The background that... Not this one, but the one I usually have behind me, which is, like... Um, J. Cole, um, Snoop Dogg, and all them. The one the one that says Dr. Dre at the bottom. If you guys a lot of ask me where I get that at, actually, you guys, um, there's nowhere to purchase it because I painted it myself. I'll show you guys. I'll insert a clip right now so you guys can see it. Alright, you guys. So this is the wall that you guys always see and ask me, like, um, where I got it at. It's painted, as you could see. There's, like, you know, it's just wall right there. So right here I have Biggie, Izzy, Izzy, I said the hell weird, <laughs> Izzy E, Tupac, I tried to do the weekend over there, that one I think, it's not the best one that I've done but, you know, oh well, Baby Bash, um, Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, J. Cole, and Michael Jackson. So this is my wall you guys, and I have a little Dr. Dre sign right there. Well, yeah, that is the um, the painting I did on my wall. Like, I think it's been like two years already, two or one year that I've done it. A lot of you guys asked me and I wanted to address that because a lot of you guys asked me where I get it at. But I'm sorry, you guys, like, I didn't buy it. I, like, painted it myself. And I wanted to let you guys know because a lot of you guys do ask. And, yeah. So, other than that, that was pretty much it for this Q&A. Of course, if you guys have any other questions that I did not talk about in this video, go ahead and feel free to comment down below. And I will be doing um, another Q&A in the future to answer, like, new questions, newer questions. I'm sorry if this video is a lot like my other previous Q&A, but I just wanted to do it again just so everyone that's new could know. And if you guys don't see that video, you know, just make a new video just so I could um, tell you guys or give you guys the answers to the questions you guys ask a lot. My head looks so flat with this beanie, but it's okay, it's only for the pictures. So this is the look that I created, you guys. Hold on, let me zoom you guys in a little bit more so you guys could... I'm not going to show you guys this side because this side is really bad. Like, literally, it did not want to blend out right there, but... Okay. This is... Oh, wait, I forgot I didn't even put on mascara. Let me put on mascara real quick. All right, you guys, I hella forgot to put on mascara. I don't know why, it just, like... It's like the thing that like completes the look and I totally forgot to put it on but here is the look now with mascara. My head literally looks so like like squished because of the beanie but it's okay. Like I said it's only for the pictures. My hair's like okay. So this is the look. The contacts I'm wearing are by TTD underscore I in the style, I was gonna say shade, in the style queen in gray. Use my code LAGUERA for 10% off. You guys should go buy some. They're like really good. They're good quality too. I just literally did it to match the beanie. 
so that was it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys do really like this new setup that i have going on i will be trying to go like buy more like fabrics i guess to like put on the background but i really like this shimmer one it was from my 18th birthday party i like i just put it as my background because like i have nothing else to put right now but i really do hope you guys like this um setup i hope you guys like this video this get ready with me q and a like i said if you guys have any questions any questions i didn't answer in this video feel free to comment down and as always don't forget to follow all my social medias don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys